This girl's name is Asa Blanton. She's a student of Indiana State University and she's a nursing major. I'm sorry, but if you're black, you're not country. I, I don't care. Like, it, and I wish I meant that in the nicest way. But like, babe, I know you were raised in the country or your grandparents were, I guess. Your great granny and grandpas. But they was picking, okay? They wasn't planting. Just keep that in mind. They wasn't making money. I was getting sold for money. You ain't country. Booze and a month of fucking jeans and a cut off to a frat party. This video leaked this past weekend just after Beyonce dropped Cowboy Carter Act 2 of Renaissance. The lefties in the entertainment industry just won't leave any area alone, right? They just have to seize control over every aspect, don't they? They've got to uh, they've got to make their mark just like a dog in a uh, in a dog walk park, you know, every dog has to mark every tree, yeah. right? So that's mm -hmm. what's going on here. Dear white people, do you know where country music comes from? Clearly you don't. Country music comes from hillbilly music. Where does hillbilly music come from? It comes from the rituals and the hymns and the songs of the American black slaves. That's right. Country music has deep roots in the black culture. So who are you? to say Beyonce doesn't belong there. This is not over. This person, I'm this close to like treating patients without being supervised. Um, and this really hits home for me because this person, this young woman is in nursing school. We've, black women have been screaming about how they get treated in the healthcare field for generations. I mean. We only need to talk about gynecology practices and how they were literally tortured to get some of the gynecology knowledge that we have today. So the fact that she is so blatantly and openly racist while also learning to practice medicine is so scary. Our country has one of the highest death rates for black women, especially back black women giving birth. So see a healthcare professional, somebody who is striving to be a healthcare professional to take care of people, have this attitude, I am terrified that someone like her is going to be working in the healthcare profession and that we're going to have to see that person treating patients. If Indiana State University has any kind of backbone, they would absolutely expel her for this because no person with that kind of mentality should be treating patients, especially someone who could potentially be treating people of color. I, I'm, I can't stress this enough. And I hope this is a wake up call for her because you just hope, I hope you just ruined your life. I, I, you should not be working in the healthcare profession. You need to find a different job. You need to find a different career path because this is not it. This is not it for you. You do not deserve to be taking care of people with zero empathy in your, in your soul, in your body, and zero effort to actually educate yourself on people of color and especially black women. I'm just... And I really don't know how to stress this enough, but for the love of God, white women, if you have not done the work and talked to people of color, especially black women, to, to learn about their, their life, their history, their culture, you need to keep your goddamn mouth shut. Seriously. Because otherwise, this is what happens. The audacity of white women really, it, it, it never fails to shock me.
30 years, social media and the internet in its modern capacity have existed for more than 30 years. So in 2024, it should be wild that someone with my complexion would post a hot take video talking shit about people on the internet because they're different. Whether it's because they look different or because they're from a different community. It's almost as if it doesn't click that the internet is forever. Because here's the thing, Bethany, even if you were a Nepo baby, which by its literal definition would mean that you're top 1%, when we know that you're really bottom 9 even if your parents had a spot for you in the family-owned business, there's a high probability that you're going to have to work with people in different communities. And the crazy part is you'll come back on the internet a couple days later and be like, that's not what I meant. You took it out of context. So you mean to tell me this video that you recorded, that you played back, that you added captions and hashtags to other people got wrong? When we know if you would have posted a lip gloss video and you didn't like the way that it looked, it would have never made the light of day. Everybody meet Asa. Now Asa has gone viral for all the wrong reasons. And I got her on the phone. But let me break down why she went viral in the first place before we get into that. She said, I'm sorry, if you're black, you're not country. I know you were raised in the country, or your grandparents were, but they was picking okay. They wasn't planning. They wasn't making money. They were getting sold for money. All of that because Beyonce dropped the country out. Now I tried to call her daddy. Hey, this is Donovan. Sorry, can you take your call right now? Leave your name and number, and I'll get back with you. And her mama. Hey, this is Sonya. Um, leave me a message, and I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye. But they were smart enough not to answer. Let's see how smart you are. Hello. Yeah, hi. Is this Asa? Uh, who's calling? Well, hello there. Now, I immediately brought up her viral video. About the current situation and everything that's going on. Uh, obviously, I'm, I know you're fully aware of it. Um... I really don't want to speak on this topic. Oh, all of a sudden you don't want to speak now, huh? Don't worry. I'll get it out of you. I understand that. I understand where you're coming from, but I just don't really feel like it's smart for me to comment on something without a lawyer present because it's just going to continue to get twisted up. What would get twisted up? The story. What about the story would get twisted? the entire thing just like everything else has gotten twisted so far i just don't feel like i need to comment on it anymore because there's it just keeps getting twisted and i just don't feel the need to comment on it anymore getting twisted how was that because in this moment you thought you were putting black people in their place why do you feel like black people can't do country music no comment okay let me ask you this since you don't want to comment on anything do you feel like people are upset for a good reason? Rightfully so, yeah. Okay. But like I said, people are upset for the wrong reason because the story continues to get twisted up. What? So I'm not going to comment on the story anyway. So let me get this straight. People were upset for the wrong reasons because you said that black people weren't country and that they were picking cotton not making the money can you tell me what people have been trying to twist the story on i'm sorry i just don't really want to comment on it because i just like i said people are going to continue to twist it and i just don't really want to comment on it anymore i'm sorry no no, no i know i understand that i'm just trying to understand how people twisted it because I, I i haven't seen any and she hanged up on me but i called her again oh, wow. okay so let me try it this way and she hanged up on me again so i waited a little bit let things calm down, and then I called her a third time. Hello? Hey, uh, I, I know we talked earlier, and I wanted to see if, you know, if you had time to think about it. So, after the text you had sent, I really don't think that I will, not, I will be speaking about it at all. Like I told you several times, I have no comment. Oh, you mean this text message where I said your no comment speaks volumes. Okay, well, since you said that, I think that no matter how the public perceives it, either way, you're supposed to be unbiased. So, I, don't, I still, I don't have any comment. Well, it's kind of hard to be, no. it's kind of hard to be unbiased when you're telling that black people were picking and not making money. That's something you kind of got to be biased on. Because if you're pro-slavery, that's a really bad thing, right? Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but is journalism not something that's unbiased? Like, you can correct me, but is that not 
Is that not correct? Like, I thought journal, journalism is supposed to be unbiased. Journalism is unbiased, but it, okay. and it, it, okay. absolutely. But there's there's lines, right? Like if there's a story on, say, Hitler, I'm not going to be pro Hitler, right? If there's a story on pro slavery, I'm not going to be pro slavery. There's there's certain lines and barriers that you just don't cross because it's just immoral by complete standards. So yeah, absolutely, I have no problem being un unbiased, but like. Those lines I will not cross. Okay, well, like I said, I have to comment, and please do not call me again. Okay, are you for slavery? Okay, so if I would have been unbiased and would have had your kind of mindset, you would have spoken to me. But because I'm against slavery, you're silent. That young lady speaks volumes. Now, for the ones who don't know, she's studying to be a nurse at the Indiana State University. And I'll end it on this. This black queen said hospitals are to black women what cops are to black men. And this person should never be in the care of any human being, especially a black person. My name's Eric Stone. Dosis. To having people say what you meant. You know, they find things that they can twist and turn and then they, they turn that into something you didn't say. Uh, certainly something you didn't mean. I mean, we're, we're talking about the uh, every dog needs a pee on a tree. I say that, I, I bet you I, not since then, but I say that a couple times a week, meaning everyone has a right to their opinion. That's what that means. Everyone has a right to try whatever they want to. That's what that means. And if right. you read into that or you listen to, the, listen to that interview, you'll see how, how wonderfully complimentary I was of her and still am. To the Bethany's of the world, I'm sorry. I tried five separate times to record this video saying Asa or Asa Blanton, and it just didn't work. Plus, if we're being honest, this applies to more than just her, so hopefully it lands where it needs to. Y'all have a great Friday. Loving you. Can't do shit about it.